Uh, with regards to what is fueling growth, again, a very big focus on infrastructure spend and, of course, uh, overall sub-Saharan Africa benefiting for, from this. Right. Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we, we were currently rate 16 uh, sovereigns in sub-Saharan Africa, and we, we see that uh, those that export commodities, for instance, oil, um, like Angola, Nigeria, Gabon, and also Cameroon, they continue to benefit from high oil prices. Um, but there are, of course, there are other commodity exporters as well. If you think of uh, Botswana with diamonds, uh, Zambia with copper. So we, we expect that growth in all those countries will continue to be fueled by um, uh, the current level of commodity prices. Um, infrastructure spending is another aspect in many countries in sub-Saharan Africa in, in, in the wake of the global recession in 2008-2009. Um, uh, governments in, in Southern Africa um, in many cases reacted with counter-cyclical fiscal policies. Um, so that means increasing uh, spending, in particular for infrastructure. Yeah. So we still see the consequences of that. Um, with a detrimental effect, of course, on the fiscal balances, but uh, there are investment programs that are still being implemented. Christian, what's interesting is that, I mean, we talk of commodity prices obviously benefiting a lot of the African countries, and one only has to look at the oil-producing nations to see the benefits thereof. But in the same breath, uh, we know, for as an example, just looking at oil, uh, we see uh, a very high um, you know, volatility factor that could play out if we see things and issues in Iran subsiding. Uh, what kind of factors are you then pricing in that we could actually see a lot of uh, volatility on the commodity front, especially if the growth in the East doesn't materialize. Right. Um that, 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 that's, a, that's a valid point. Uh, the all export, um, exporting countries, commodity exporters, uh, they depend um, on uh, or they expose to that volatility in particular because in um, the majority of cases uh, the, there's one major commodity uh, that is exported. So we're not talking about a diversified expo export portfolio in, in most of um, these countries with very few exceptions. Um, that is, well, it's factored into our ratings which despite the a very positive effect of uh, these export, uh, commodity exports on both on the um, current account or the balance of payments and also on the fiscal balance. Despite those positive effects, the ratings uh, are or do factor in the risk that is related to this volatility and also factors in uh, a scenario where commodity prices might be lower in the future, which is what happened um, in the wake of the 2008-2009 yeah. crisis. Uh, that's a very uh, uh, fair and, and, and valid point. Um, so we also look um, at the buffers that uh, countries have and at, say, diversification, other sectors of the economy that would provide some sort of cushion against this volatility. And as you may know, some, some countries have uh, started setting up buffers, um, wealth funds. Uh, if you think of Nigeria, there has been an, um, uh, um, um, a, um, say, a fiscal account, uh, the excess crude account on to, in, into which um, oil revenue has been paid. Now, this account, in our view, hasn't been very successful yeah. in the past, but, but to Governments uh, are considering these issues. Okay, what, uh, Christian, if I could just touch on also some of the moves that, that SMP has made with regards to ratings. Uh, since uh, late last year, we've seen uh, three uh, new ratings and outlooks uh, that have come to the fore. And I'd like to touch on Botswana uh, to A minus, uh, A minus two. Uh, that number came through in November. Give us an indication of Botswana and what your views are for this company going forward. It seems that um, you know, things are looking uh, quite rosy in that economy. Right. I mean, Botswana is the highest rating that we have in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's rated even higher than uh, South Africa. So yeah. Botswana's rating is an uh, A minus uh, foreign currency rating. Um, uh, Botswana is, say, outstanding uh, compared with uh, most other uh, countries in the region uh, regarding its political stability, stability and uh, predictability um, as we see it of its institutions. And it also benefits from its uh, diamond exports. Uh, so it, it has traditionally has had quite a buffer um, both on the fiscal side but also uh, in the balance of payments uh, regarding a downturn in, 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 the, in the prices of, of diamonds. Um, that buffer did, did decrease, of course, in 2008-2009, in but it's still a country that um, both on the fiscal side and also on the balance yeah. of payment side has a robust balance sheet. Fantastic, Christian. We have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a great weekend. Christian Estes, credit analyst at SMP.